Oh, hey, YouTubers, D Doc here. I'm going to take a little pan behind me. Or maybe I'll swing the camera around. We've had our snow mageddon. Thought we could have got anywhere from 17 to 30 inches. We got about eight up here in central eastern Iowa. So I'm sitting here at home on a Sunday, been watching some videos from Classic Truck Rescue catching up on his saga and realized I needed to go to the post office to take out a couple of bills and put them in the mailbox down there. And while normally I probably would have walked the four blocks down there, good for my exercise, good for my heart, I thought, well, it's been a while. Since we've done a cold start of the 74 F-250. And yeah, just a couple of days ago, this had eight, nine inches of snow draped all over it, but the weather's been kind of warming up. Snow's been kind of melting, so I thought, well, what the heck. Be a good chance to do a cold start of the old 74 F-250 and drive it that four blocks round uh, about four blocks down to uh, put the two bills in the mailbox at the post office and then drive it back around home to circulate the fluids so let's kind of jump in it here and see if we can get it to fire up I haven't fired it up for a while been having some problems with it the last time I drove it over to shopping over in Blair, Nebraska. <clears throat> Went and did my shopping, come back out, and it wouldn't start. The battery got all low and went across the street to a tire repair shop. A friend of mine had one of their employees come over and give me a jump start, and I managed to get it home. So I was kind of aware there was a charging situation. You know, goes to figure this truck has been sitting for oh five ten years and I switched the engine in it put a good engine in it been getting it test driving it so notice when I got home to charge up the battery that the alternator belt had come loose so I'm not sure at this point if that was just the problem or if I need to do a couple of diagnostic checks and maybe see if the alternator's gone bad or if the regulator's gone bad I believe the regulator is original equipment and it's fairly rusty looking and it's just been too cold since then what with our well here in central eastern Iowa we've had our winter season finally kick in it just gets too cold and a little bit of snow and everything and I've got the old 96 Crown Vic sitting in the garage right now waiting for warmer weather and a little bit more money to fix the front end. So I just didn't get too motivated to work on the 74 F-250 until it dries up a little bit and warms up a little bit. My main goal with this truck was to get that replacement engine in it. <clears throat> and uh, the engine that sat for 20 years under a bench in a shed and it fired up just right fine. No leaks of any sort so far. Knock on wood. Let's knock on some old wood. <laughs> so uh, the other issue I had with this 74 F-250 that I was noticing as I drove it over shopping and back, which is a 20 mile over and 20 mile back, was that by the time I got to Blair, it was showing that it was getting kind of hot. So, let me see if I can get this one-handed here. Uh, yeah, sure. Hang on just a second, see if I don't spill the camera doing this. Problem is, The radiator needs to be about two inches 
away from that fan blade. If it's more than two inches away from the fan blade, it's not cooling adequately, and you need to put a fan shroud on the radiator to make it work better, or the radiator needs to be moved to within two inches away from that fan blade. Now, I don't know if you can see this real well, but this is not the original radiator that came with this 390 engine. It went bad and uh, I probably disposed of it instead of saving it to have it record, which would have been a smarter idea. <clears throat> instead, <clears throat> I took this radiator from another vehicle that I had. Couldn't tell you which one it was from. It's just been too many years ago and too many things have happened in my life. And as you can probably see, it's kind of loosely bolted in. Now, the way it's sitting right now, the radiator hoses are keeping it fairly solid. It's not going to move anywhere. So my choices are to move this radiator closer to that fan blade, which I'm a little hesitant to do because if I push it back without cutting the hoses, it's going to put a kink in the radiator hoses, and, I, and that's not good. And I really don't want to cut the hoses any shorter. I suppose I could, but I'll have to think about that. The other option is to fabricate a fan shroud which would be a good challenge for me and I'm pretty sure I could do it I, I have a couple of fan shrouds that I've kept from other vehicles but they don't fit properly and the hole for the fan blade isn't positioned properly so they don't work on this radiator so I'm just waiting for spring and maybe a chance to come across some scrap tin somewhere and I uh, probably will fabricate a fan shroud for this. I don't know. I'm still tossing up the decision in the air. Maybe I'll just end up cutting inch or two off of the lower and upper radiator hoses, making some spacers from some pipe, put it right in here, and push this radiator closer to that fan blade which should solve the overheating issues. So <clears throat> we've had a few cold days out here and cold is really bad on these batteries. I did charge up the battery completely the last time when I drove it home when it overheated and, and uh, well, it didn't really overheat, it just uh, didn't have a charge. And the fan blade was loose, don't really know why probably need a new fan belt or an alternator belt <clears throat> but you know like a bunch of other people in this great country of ours I had to go buy me some of that unaffordable care health care that our great president is making everybody get and a little short on money right now so just kind of playing it by ear as to what I can do just getting through the winter right now been driving the old 90 95 Tahoe it's my daily driver it's been doing really well so let's get back to the task at hand gonna do a cold start hopefully of the 74 f-250 drive it four or five blocks around town here to get to the post office put my mail in the drop box and drive back home that shouldn't cause any overheating issues and I got the camera mounted on a tripod I'm hoping that I can brace it either in the windshield or against the back window here and get some good driving viewing let's see where I put the keys I just remembered I have a wood block behind the back. Well, I can roll over that easy enough. Let's see. Which key is it going to be? 
I think I put them all on the same set, same ring. <clears throat> So, let's give it a shot. Been a while. up 